Hey everyone, welcome back. This week we're diving into After Effects to create an awesome split text animation. Let's take a look at what we'll be making. Special thanks to Envato Elements for their support in making this video possible. With Envato Elements, you can download unlimited After Effects templates, fonts, stock videos, sound effects, and more. Check out the first link in the description. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling mine Split Text Animation. As always, I'll use a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Perfect for most projects. Next, let's right click here and create a new solid layer. I'll name it BG for background and choose a nice dark blue color. Once you've got that, hit OK. Now, head over to the tools and select the text tool. For this project, I'll be using the Oswald font with a bold family and set my font size to 400 pixels. I'll also use the italic version of the font. You can see all my settings here on the screen. Click on the color option and choose an offset white color for the text. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. Once you're done, press Control or Command plus Enter on your keyboard to exit the typing box. Now grab the Move tool and align your text right into the center of the composition. Next, right-click on your text layer and choose Pre-Compose. I'll name this new composition Text Comp and make sure to select Move All Attributes into the new composition. Hit OK. Now select your text layer, go to the Tools and choose the Rectangle tool. You can add a mask using the pen tool as well, but I prefer using the rectangle tool for this. Start creating the mask by dragging the rectangle over the text. As you can see, I'm keeping the top part visible. We'll be splitting the text into different parts, so make sure your mask is positioned correctly. Finally, select the Move tool again, then double-click on your mask anchor point to adjust as needed. Then rotate the mask to create a more stylized look. Place the masks right here. Now select your text layer and make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus D. Double click on the mask and drag it to a different position, ensuring that no gaps remain. You can even play with the shape of the mask to achieve a different look. Adjust it to your preference. If you see any gaps, make sure to cover them up. Then make more duplicates of the text layer and complete your whole text. I'm speeding up this step to save time, so don't worry if it seems quick. Excellent! If you're feeling adventurous, feel free to make even more copies. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll stick with just four. For a smoother experience, I recommend renaming all the layers that you can remember. This way you won't have to toggle individual layers on and off for checking. Now let's proceed to the next step. Minimize all layers to create some space. And now we're going to make them 3D. If the 3D tab isn't visible, right-click in this area, go to Columns, and choose switches. You can use any other tab if you prefer, but we don't need the mode tab, so I'm going to hide it and add the parent tab instead. Now make all the text layers 3D. Then select your text layers and press P to open position. Go to the half second mark and add a keyframe for the position. Then move to a different point in time and change the Z position value for a few layers leaving some unchanged. Now, one thing you may notice, I am using a value between negative 30 to plus 30. This way it won't look too spaced out. This will create a staggered 3D effect. Of course, you can customize the values to create a unique look. Let's use these values and see how it looks. Right now, you won't see any changes because we need to create a camera. But first, select all the keyframes, right-click on them, go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. This will smooth out the animation and make it look more natural. Now right click in the timeline and create a new camera. I'm using a 35mm preset and keeping everything else as default. Open the camera options and under the transform section, you'll find point of interest and position. Make sure you're at the first frame, then add keyframes for both point of interest and position. Next, move to around the two second mark. Select the Orbit Around tool from the Tools menu. Use this tool to adjust the camera's position, creating a dynamic movement. 
You can click and drag the mouse cursor to achieve this camera motion. Once you've set the camera movement, go to the end keyframes, press C again to switch to the dolly tool, and click and drag the camera to create a zoom out effect. And this is how it looks now. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Minimize the camera options to keep things organized. Now let's add some drop shadow effects to the text layers. Select your first text layer, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Drop Shadow. Apply it to the layer and change the softness value to around 100. This will give the text a nice shadow effect. Repeat this process for all the text layers that you animated. To add some finishing touches, go to the first keyframe position and minimize all layers by pressing M on your keyboard. Select all the text layers. Then in the search bar, type Opacity. It will open up the Opacity option of the layer and drop shadow. We're going to add keyframes to the drop shadow opacity, so be careful not to confuse this with the text layer opacity. Add a keyframe to the drop shadow opacity. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Then hold Shift to select the keyframes of the drop shadow opacity and place them at the one second mark. Now at the half second mark, change the drop shadow opacity to 0%. This will create a fading effect for the shadow. Finally, select these keyframes and apply Easy Ease to them as well. Great job. In case you want, you can always reverse the keyframes of the camera if you don't like the current camera placement. To do this, select the keyframes, right click on them, go to Keyframe Assistant and select Time Reverse Keyframes. This will reverse the animation giving you a different perspective. And this is how it looks now. Great. You can also play with the mask design to achieve a different look. Simply select your text layer and adjust the mask to a different shape. Check the animation again, and you'll see how the new mask design affects the overall look. Let's minimize all the layers to keep our workspace organized. If you want to change the text to something different, all you need to do is open the text composition and replace the existing text with your new one. Go back to the main composition, and After Effects will automatically update the text for you. Great! This looks good to me. Now let's fine-tune the animation. Select the camera layer and press U to reveal all keyframes. Select the keyframes and open the graph editor. If your graph doesn't look like this, right-click in the graph area and choose Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the curves to create a smoother transition, like this. Switch back to the main timeline to see the changes. And this is how it looks now. Let's preview it at 100%. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.